A lot of the tools out there that exist for business analysis tend to be really complicated. Um, it takes a lot of effort to just get off the ground using them. The advantage of using Mathematica is it's very experimental. You can start simple, work a little bit until you meet the basic parts of your needs, and eventually you might build up a complex system, but you started with something simple, something that was easy to understand, and it was easy to understand everywhere along the way. And that's absolutely invaluable in doing data analysis. I work in the corporate analysis group at Wolfram Research. Between the Wolfram Demonstrations Project, Wolfram Alpha, the Wolfram Blog, and the Wolfram Reference Site, we have lots of web resources. What our group tries to do is look at how users interact with all those websites and to make sure that their goals are being met and that our goals are being met. The kind of work we do, uh, many people would use a spreadsheet for it, but we find that Mathematica is much better suited for that sort of thing because it allows us to work with our data as a document rather than just this amorphous grid of, on, of numbers and to write very easily generalized functions that we can use in a different analysis that it has the same sort of data. Website data is a data packlet that we built at Wolfram Research to give us easy access to all of our um, web traffic data because Mathematica ha comes with a database link, which is a nice um, package for interacting with all kinds of different database packages. Um, there are lots of uh, abstractions that just come with the standard version of Mathematica that have uh, made it really easy to, to build this very generalized, useful tool. So where we can now ask very complicated questions um, of website data and, and get meaningful results back pretty swiftly. So I'm gonna show now a, um, an example of our website data function in action. Um, how we use it to analyze a web event that occurs. Uh, we have this blog post linked to this demonstration on the Wolfram Demonstrations Project. First thing I'm going to do is just look at the traffic. So I'll use dateless plot for that. You can see that there is definitely some, some correlation between when the traffic goes up for the blog and when it goes up for the, the demonstration. But now I want to see uh, the bigger picture of the traffic from that blog post and the demonstration. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a list of all the refers to the blog post, all the, all the click-throughs from, from the blog post, all the refers to the demonstration, and all the click-throughs from the demonstration. And I'm going to construct a graph out of all of those lists so that I have something that I can supply to graph plot and actually like visualize the, the network of where the traffic went. I'm going to use the edge rendering function option here to make the, the color of the line joining one page to the next depend on how much traffic there was. I'm also going to use the vertex rendering function option to again put tooltips on the individual, the dots, the individual pages so that I can look at this graph and have it nice and uncluttered but then when I'm interested in something in a particular just mouse over to see what, what, that, that, um, what that dot corresponds to. There's just lots of tools for interacting with these graphs that make it easy for somebody who's you know not a programmer to sit down and like really, really explore the data. But also, you know, because all the code's right there in the Mathematica notebook, if the person who's looking at this report, you know, does want to get in, look in the code and, and you know, start exploring it programmatically themselves, that that option's still there where, you know, they wouldn't have it if it had just been like rendered as a Word document or as a PDF file. Mathematica is very flexible and it's really easy to add to anything that I've already built. If we had, were working with just a statistics package, it probably wouldn't have this graph theory um, the set of graph theory functions and the nice graph plotting tools that Mathematica has. If we were working in something that was just geared towards making just, you know, um, like nice time series plots, it might not have the same statistical tools as well. But with Mathematica, they're all right there in the same tool.